it's hard, but while I was you know try to walk, I was trying to walk, and I can't walk far as ever. Everybody. By the time she was two, I just knew she wasn't the average child. After multiple visits to the doctor's office and hearing so many inaccurate diagnoses, Deanne Somerset took matters into her own hands. I spent a lot of time at the library. I would work my 10 hour shift, get out of work at 10 o'clock in the morning, go to the library, pick up some books, go home, read, make some phone calls, schedule appointments. It was a parent's intuition that Courtney wasn't like her siblings. It's hard. It's hard to c communicate um, with my parents. And it's hard to communicate with other people. She really didn't interact with us. She just kind of sat there. And just like the Somerset family. When I got the diagnosis, it was like I got hit by a bus. Amy Carter saw the signs early on in Jaden's life. He'll like repeat himself 30 times in a row and he wants it now, he wants it now. And he does the hand flapping here and there. As parents of a child with autism, they say life is a battle because they found themselves worrying about other people's opinions. We really got harassed in Disney World because she didn't look different. And that's not the only tough part. This is my normal. Um, I don't, I shouldn't expect that when we go to the grocery store, it's going to be smooth. You know, I shouldn't expect that I'm not going to be woke up three to four times a night. If you go on the swings with me, I'll go down the slide with you. You can even jump off. I do? Yeah. And just like other five-year-olds, Jaden is an active boy. Whoa, crash and burn. Yeah. And as he grows older to become an adult, Courtney's family says there is hope. It's a lot of trying to understand their world because they are in a different world.